Today we'll make a mermaid wreath. Keep watching! So I have this cute little summer wreath video for you today. We're going to start off with some picks from Dollar Tree. These are also some, well these particular ones did not come from Dollar Tree. They were thrifted, but you can get similar um, ornaments during Christmas time. This is some thrifted mesh and it's kind of a bluish green kind of duochrome color. I have some of these little twist ties. This wreath form came from Dollar Tree. It's the 14 inch. Here's a round sign from Dollar Tree. And here are those stickers I was telling you about. I cut the top part off to fit it in my little drawer. But this is what they look like. And then these little, the little ornaments were thrifted and the little balls came from some tables scattered from Dollar Tree a long time ago. And then this is mesh from Dollar Tree as well. I let my daughter pick the stickers for this, so this will be going in her room. Alright, we're going to start off by getting this wreath ready. I'm going to take my two pieces of mesh and pinch them together. I want to put the lightest one, which is the white, on top. You can use any variety of color depending on what you want, but I think it's a pretty good rep representation of, you know, the ocean and maybe where a mermaid would live in the deep green blue water. So the reason I'm using these twist ties is just because I wanted to show you that you can pretty much use anything to do this. They are, it's, it's really like a long bread tie, but they're used for plants so that you can um, stake your plants up if you, you need to do that. But I thought I would go ahead and use it for this. They were thrifted and I had plenty of them, so here we go. Making the most of what we got. I'm going down 10 inches and pinching this up and then attaching it. Now between each of the little dividers that go down through all of the circles of that wreath, I am going to put four. So we started off on one of those divider pieces and then counted down another two and then the last one is the number four and it will be attached to that crossbar as well. So you're gonna do that for each one of those. So now I fast forward and I'm going all the way back around to where we started you can see that one roll of this Dollar Tree mesh just about makes it all the way around this wreath. You could probably stretch it a little longer if you made nine inches uh, poofs instead, or eight inch poofs instead, but you know, you make it work. And certainly mesh is forgiving. You can always fill it in later and you'll see that I did the same thing. So we're gonna go all the way back to where we started from, put that down, and when I run out of the white, I'm just gonna continue around just making those poofs with the bluish green color I have there. Didn't you see that I'm doing that there? Just, I've run out of the white, so now I'm just going to do it with that blue like I told you. And it ends up only being like two or three loops that don't have white with it. I have a tape measure for those of you who are new, a tape measure that is down on my table. So I pull that mesh down to the bottom to kind of measure it out. That's what I'm doing when you see me fooling around there on the bottom. So the last one is gonna be right on top of where we started. I'm just gonna open that up, push it down tight and twist it. You can always tuck those under if you don't need to use them anymore. Then I'm going to measure eight inches. Go up, I'm gonna skip one ring and go to the next ring. And I'm gonna start there and do the same thing. It will be four on each of those, go all the way around just like I've done here. Attaching it down the exact same way. You could always prepare your wreath in advance and put your little pipe cleaners on there to get them ready, but I like to do things the hard way sometimes. Truth of the matter is, lots of times I don't know where I'm going when I start a project, so I just kind of pick the stuff up and start going. And that's what I did here. So now I'm gonna alternate pulling the white on top and then the white on bottom. And see blue and white and blue and white all the way around the wreath. 
Be sure you follow me on my social media, on Pinterest and Instagram. Okay, so that's what you see me doing here is just fluffing that out, pulling those poofs apart, and dividing up that white so it goes up and down and up and down around the edge of that wreath. It almost gives it the effect of being more than there actually is of that white. It's a trick of the eye, I think. Okay, so you can see there in the bottom that I have more blue than I have green. Tucking my edge under, pushing it through the back, and this is how the wreath is going to look. I'm going to take the sticker off the back here and I'm going to start painting this round sign. The other side I just sanded a little bit. I'm going to use a variety of blues and blue greens that you would naturally see in the water or in the sea or in the ocean. So I'm just showing you a variety here. I think I end up using five different colors. I'm gonna start off with the darkest color because it's gonna be the deepest, it's gonna represent the deepest part of the ocean. So I've got my dark blue on the bottom. Realistically, it would be a lot more blue than that, a lot darker, blacker. But you know, this is whimsical, so we're working with what we got. So now I'm gonna do some blue-green. I'm gonna use the same brush and just kind of ombre it down, just kind of lightly blend it down into the next color. Then I'm going to pick a shade that's a little bit lighter than that. Go right on top. Same thing, I'm not taking any paint off. I'm just going to go ahead and put that paint down on there and blend it slightly down into the bottom two colors. And we're going to keep doing that with each of the different colors all the way up to the top. Don't worry about the hole in the sign that will be covered up. So it's looking like we're getting closer to the surface of the water, right up to the top. So the color is getting lighter as it gets closer to the sun. I had too much fun doing this. I did originally try to do something like this with spray paint and it was a big old fail. So I definitely recommend you use your acrylics or watercolors, whatever you have. The acrylic worked perfect on this board. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Oh, I even impress myself sometimes. Okay, so now I've got these glittery picks that I got in the springtime from Dollar Tree. They were with the Easter stuff, and I thought these look like coral or something that would live in the ocean. So I'm going to cut each one of these off of these two different colored picks. There is a aqua color and a kind of a sandy gold looking color, and it matches well with what we got. Do you see my little tray? This little tray and this little broom is what I use to clean my table with all the glitter. Now I've got a bunch of shells. You can get these from the Dollar Tree. Some of these I had and some of these I actually did get from the Dollar Tree. They have a good variety. You can get tiny shells, you can get larger shells, and then the colors are varied as well. So I'm picking through this huge container that I have. It's a big old, almost like a cereal container that's plastic with a lid. And looking at all the different colors and I'm kind of comparing it to what we have. If you see the Little Mermaid in the corner, she's the one we're gonna use. So I'm kind of looking at the colors and what will look good with that. That one has a little barnacle on it. Okay, so I've, I'm missing a little bit of footage here, but it's pretty simple. I just added some stickers. We're gonna secure the back on with hot glue, pipe cleaners, and a little piece of paper. And this will give us a way to attach it to the wreath. I don't want to pull it too tight because I don't want it to squish down my wreath. I want the wreath to still be full and this will look rather like it's floating on top, just sitting on the top. So I took one of the little friends, the little turtle, because that's what my daughter wanted and she chose this mermaid and my daughter does have blonde hair so that may be why she chose this one but they're all very cute and the little stars also came off the pick and I just randomly put those around the edges. So I'm going to alternate these, um, blue, gold, blue, gold, blue, gold, blue. And then I'm just using a little piece of pipe cleaner. You can use what, whatever wire or whatever you have to stick these together. I'm just using this to kind of hold them in place. You could probably use a little rubber band 
and then I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue as well. This helps them stick to that fuzzy part and it's also going to help it stick to the back of this board. And I'm just going to use one of my Dollar Tree clamps to hold this on. Don't clamp over your glue though, just clamp over the stems. Going to do the same thing here and this is going to be at a diagonal up on this side. Don't worry about them being bunched up because you can move those around a little bit once they get dried. I'm just going over here on the back and adding some glue. And the same thing over here because I don't want the picks to come off when I start fooling around with them. Just wanted to put a little extra. And you can see here I just used a scrap of paper to put it down and I did not glue over my clamp. Now once that's dry and the glue is cool, you can take your clamps off and then you can move these around a little bit. Make them look as though they would in the ocean where they have a little bit of movement. And they're nice and spread out and dispersed. So again, I kind of go by feeling when I do my crafts. So I'm just putting things down and trying to get an idea of what I think looks good and what colors and sizes look right. I only had one of those, I think it's a purplish colored shell. I only had one, but it was very pretty. Then using those pieces of wispy things as a backing, I'm gonna start putting down some shells. And there we go. I got a variety of colors there. I've got a small one mixed in there with the larger ones. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. That's almost like mini shell arrangements on each side. That one reminds me of the little, like from a Norwal, and the little sea turtle has one of those for whatever reason. She has one on her head, so I think it's fitting to put one on here. Then I'm just taking these little bitty shells and filling out here and there. Now I thought these ornaments, when I saw them, they look just like bubbles. They're iridescent and they look like bubbles, so I thought that was perfect. I'm putting those down. Just gonna use three of them. I think I had six but I'm gonna use three. It's gonna take a bit of glue to hold that down into that mesh, and they're gonna have a tendency to kind of push up from the mesh because it's kind of bouncy and flowy. Just hold it down if you need to until that glue sets up. Then I'll take these glittery ones. I'm gonna turn them upside down because I don't want those to show. We don't want them to look like ornaments. We want them to look like bubbles. So we're just turning them around and pressing them down. The bigger ones, I was able to remove those silver toppers, but these little ones were glued on, so I just left them, I left them there. Then the little foam table scatter, I'm gonna start filling in with those as well. Just gonna put them here and there. It's like clusters of bubbles. You can use a little bit of glue in between them to hold them together if you need to. And sometimes just putting it, gluing it to the one beside it and, the, and a little space underneath it will hold it the way you want it. I don't want these to fall off. And you have to be careful with hot glue and styrofoam at any rate. They don't always get along well. But I did use a high heat gun and it worked just fine. So there's also some of these blue ones and I think think I got those from Dollar Tree too. Might not have. They may have actually came from Goodwill. But I'm sure they came from someplace like Hobby Lobby or Michaels or a craft store if they didn't come from Dollar Tree. I'm just kind of looking. I want it to be kind of balanced. I don't want too much going on in one direction. I want it to be kind of, you know, spaced out and even. but random too, if that makes any sense. 
Oh my goodness, this is so cute. I've had this idea in my head for months now, and I just did not get it together to, to do the project. For one thing, most of my content is farmhouse or rustic or very earthy, and this is a little bit out of what people normally see from me or have seen from me for several months now. So if this is something that you like, please let me know. I really enjoyed doing it and I would be happy to put out more content like this if it's something that you're interested in. But you just gotta let me know. Because my daughter is also a big unicorn fan, so we could certainly do some kind of project with the unicorns or Norwals or something like that. Now these definitely came from the thrift store. I do not know where they originally came from. They are styrofoam underneath, but they are sequined on top. And there are a few that are like a sand color. And a few of these are a very pretty blue color. So I've just used those as just accents because I didn't have very many of them. I think maybe I had four. Now these are, these I actually found at the beach. They are like pieces of sand dollar maybe, broken sand dollar or broken pieces of shell. I like the irregularity and that they're white, so I went ahead and used those in the project too. No shellfish were injured in the creation of this project. Now for this one, it's a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna put it underneath put the glue on the top of it and I'm just holding it underneath until it sits up. There's no right or wrong. You just do it, do what feels right to you. And that's how I do it. So I'm going back in with some of these little tiny shells and putting them here or there. I've even la overlapped on some of the star stickers and I've added some more stickers. And then here we go. This is our hanger. All right, what do you think about this little beauty? Isn't she the cutest? I got a new backdrop. What do you guys think about that? Looks like brick. I think it looks nice. And then here is the wreath. This is our little mermaid wreath. And she turned out very nicely, I think. Again, please let me know if this is something that you would like to see more of from me. Are you going to try to do this yourself? I certainly hope so. My daughter had a little film here. She put some shells down there and decorated. So I wanted to add that to the footage. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!